And howdy do, Tom the Beer Whisperer here. It is the 4th of July, and I have a Boulevard Ginger Lemon Rattler. It was in a Boulevard mixed pack. I got it because they were all kind of summer styles. It is a 4th of July, and I like the idea that I was dealing with just cans. Uh, I'm going to read a little bit from their can here. Sunshine season calls for a uniquely refreshing beer with added zing. Ginger Lemon Rattler is our take on the classic German cyclist. Bright and easy drinking with tangy citrus and a touch of spice. Their website says it uses um, lemon juice, lemon extract, and uh, freshly juiced ginger, which would add the spice. It is, I'm going to call this a true session beer uh, by anybody's standards. It is 4.05%. Not 4.5%, mind you. 4.05. Now, the traditionists want to draw the line at 4% even. But I think we need to cut slack for a 0.05%. And if you're not willing to do that, then there's no point having a conversation with you because you're unreasonable. Damn. <laughs> anyway. I, I got to admit, I look at session beers differently than some of the hardliners because I just, I don't, I don't, I, I get the British tradition. I get why it's 4%. But as an American, I don't think we need to adhere to their tradition. I think we can look at it and have our own definition for the same word as we do with everything else. But that's my opinion on it all. The aroma on this is bright, man. It is. It is a lot of lemon. It is a lot of ginger. A little bit of spice. Mm. There is some sweetness coming up from it as well. If you had a keg of this at 4.05, I think you could just drink it straight from the freaking keg. Yeah, it, it is. It is. I mean, I'd have to say that I, uh, before. I'd have to say I wasn't necessarily a fan of the style. It's not something I drink a lot of. But yeah, I mean, it does feel good on a, on a warm, muggy day. It really does. It isn't heavy. It is bright. The flavors are bright. They just wake up your palate. Carbonation is crisp. You really feel that ginger on the back end. I feel the lemon all the way through it, especially at the beginning and the middle. But then that ginger just comes in right in the finish and, and for me just kind of makes it all worthwhile. It's very nice indeed. And, and again, I mean, damn, I did the same thing with my grapefruit ruby, my ruby from, from others. I mean, I had no intention of of slamming it but it just goes down so easy it's hard not to knock them back and that's what a beer like this is for I'm using a goblet I actually don't know what the traditional glass for a rattler is again it's not a style I drink a lot of so I'm gonna admit I don't know something which is something most beer guys won't do uh, but yeah I don't know what the traditional glass is. so I'm using a goblet cut me some slack for using the Budweiser I am a fan of all classic glassware. I buy them all. And this one cost me a quarter at a thrift store a couple years back when we were in Kentucky. What the hell, right? It's a nice goblet. It holds 12 ounces perfect. Oh. I don't know the years on it. I'm guessing it came out somewhere in the mid-70s would be my guess. Oh. I just ate some pizza for lunch. That kind of hit the spot. Uh, so I thought I'd follow it up with a, something lighter. I didn't want to, you know, I'd, I ate uh, two pieces of pizza. I was feeling full, but I wanted the beer to kind of wash her all down. And this one kind of fits the bill perfectly. It's light. It's crisp. It's refreshing. It's everything you want on a day like this. Especially, if, I mean, this is the 4th of July. If you're planning on drinking a lot, this is the kind of beer you want. That's only 4.05%. There you go. I'm done to Beer Whisper. Ah, see you later.